No. These are mine. Stop it. I have to start all my videos with me eating food. That should be like a new thing now. It should be my thing. Hey guys, it's Kate, and today I am going to be doing my November favorites, and I know it's already like the, what is it, the 6th or the 7th of December, so I'm kind of a little bit late, but I have have been having a bad week, so excuse myself and forgive me, and let's just get into the video. I don't have very much to show you um, this month. I do have a couple things that I'd like to talk about, so let's just get into the video. So I have two things that I want to talk about from Pixie. Um, the first thing is the Pixie Nourishing Cleansing Balm with sweet almond oil and vitamin E. I have been using this to take my makeup off and it really, like it feels amazing. It leaves my skin feeling so soft and moisturized. I love it and it takes my makeup off and then I wash my face and it just feels amazing and I love it very much. Um, the next thing from Pixie that I wanted to talk about was this Pixie Rose Oil Blend thingy. It comes with like a little dropper. And I was scared to use this at first because I'm always scared of uh, just these things scare me. Like those droppers. They remind me of like ear drops or eye drops. don't like those. I tried this out on my skin and I dropped it. So I tried this out on my skin and I found that it really made my skin moisturize and it made my skin look so healthy and I loved it very much. So this is what I've been loving in November. I have one lip product to show you guys and that is Laguna Beach by Ofra Cosmetics. I have been loving this liquid lipstick. Um, I've worn it so much this month, like I think 20 out of the 30 days in November I wore this lipstick and I love it. It's so creamy. I love these Ofra liquid lipsticks. They're my favorite liquid lipsticks that I own. Um, I just love the consistency and they're not drying and they're not, they don't like crumble off. They're just an amazing, amazing, amazing formula and consistency and I love this color very much. I have a scent that I've been loving this month. It is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White and I just got this in the rollerball because I wanted to check it out and I didn't want to spend 120 bucks on the full thing if I, like, without knowing if I like the smell or not so I just bought the rollerball. <sighs> I love this so much. Like I've been wearing this every single day. I'm going to get the big version um, hopefully around Christmas time when I go to the States I'm going to get it. I love this very much. It is such a beautiful smell. It smells so amazing. I don't know how to explain it. It's like florally and sweet. It's so nice. And I smelled the Nirvana Black. I wasn't a big fan of it. It was a little bit too musky for me, but I really, really love this one. I have three things from Lush that I want to talk about. Um, is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. And this I have been putting on every time I have a shower or a bath or anything and it makes my skin so smooth and so soft and it makes them smell so delicious. I love it very much. I'm going to be repurchasing this thing this once it's done. I still have a lot left so that's good. But I've been using this all the time. It smells like rose and I love the smell of rose. So this is amazing. I love this very much. I highly recommend this. Um, the next thing from Lush that I want to talk about is Mint Juleps. Um, <clears throat> this is an amazing lip scrub. I've repurchased this so many times. And especially in the winter time, my lips get so dry and just like the rest of my body. So I need to use this like every single day to exfoliate my lips so that there's no dry, crusty lips going on because nobody likes dry, crusty lips. The last thing from Lush that I want to talk about is a face mask and it is the cup of coffee face and body mask and I have been loving this so much I don't I don't know why there's like oil at the top but it smells like coffee and just love that's what it smells like love uh, you're supposed to leave this on for like five to ten minutes but I leave it on for like an hour at a time I put this on when I get in the bath and I actually filmed a 
pamper routine where I use this. But I didn't keep it on for the whole time that I was in the bath, but I usually do that, but I didn't do that for the video. But I love this so much, I've been using this whenever I pamper myself, which is like once a week maybe, so I've been loving this very, very much. This is definitely one of my most favorite face masks by Lush. The next thing I want to talk about are two brushes. One of them is the 228 Luxe Crease by Zoeva. I've been loving this as a blender brush. You can see that it's very fluffy and big and there's lots of there's lots of hairs and it just blends everything out. This has become like one of my favorite blenders um, other than my Morphe ones. This is like the close second. I love this one. It's so soft and so amazing. The next brush I want to talk about is by Luxie and it is the 520 Tapered Face and I have been using this to apply my blush and I love it so much. I applied it. I use it to apply my blush today. Um, it's so gorgeous. It's so soft. Like, oh my god. It feels like heaven. This is my favorite blush brush that I own and I highly recommend this. Ooh, nails. Oh, as you guys saw in my previous video on my fast and easy manicure video. I mentioned these. They are the Nail Her Nakey Stiletto. I have been loving these like so much. These are my favorite. Like I love them so much. I love the color. I love the style. I love the shape. I love everything. I love them so much. And I love that they're reusable and they're so cheap and I love them so much. So yeah. These babies. I really need these in the winter. I've been using these a lot. They are the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. And I don't like the smell of them. That's one thing that I don't like about these. But these take the dead, the dead, take the dead dry skin off of my face so amazingly and it makes my face feel so refreshed and so soft and so not dry and flaky and gross. Oh, I love these. Thank you very much, Fab Beauty. I love you. Mwah. Ooh, I have a hair product that I want to talk to you about. I've been loving the Numi 5-in-1. I think this is the Lustrum set. But I've been loving the 32mm barrel. I use it today to curl my hair, but you can't really tell because my hair doesn't hold a curl. Because mm. it's naturally pinned straight and nothing curls it, so... But, if my hair did hold curls, that would be amazing. But it doesn't. But I love using this curler anyways. For like the 20 minutes on my hair. Ends up being curly for. I love it. And this gives them really beautiful ringlets. Um, they're loose and you can brush them out and it makes them wavy and elegant and sexy. And I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. I don't know if this is kind of like a cheat, but I got this like halfway through November. It's like I've only had it for half of November, but I've used it every day of November since I got it, so I'm gonna include it. It's a Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I used this in a First Impression Friday, which you, which I will leave in the number down below if you would want to check that out if you're thinking of purchasing this. I highly recommend it. Um, my favorite colors are this one, the really cool toned one. I think it's called subconscious. I love levitation and lyric which are these two right here. I mix those and I put them underneath my eyes for highlight and this is my contour shade. I used this one today because I wanted to try it out. Um, it's not that bad. I like it but I still like this one better. So I really have been loving this the half of the month of November that I used it for. Now an eye palette. I've been loving the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette because it has so many um, neutral shimmery, kind of holiday, Christmassy kind of colors. I should film a, I should film a winter makeup tutorial using this, but using like colors that I wouldn't usually use because that would just be boring if I did. But I filmed a look on this one today and I didn't use any of these because I wanted to change it up because I've been using this so much. So yeah, I've been loving this palette. The colors are so creamy and buttery and pigmented and I love them very much and I highly recommend this as a starter palette if you guys don't know what palette to buy and you're just kind of starting to get into makeup. I highly recommend this one because there's such a wide range of colors and it's 
amazing. These are my favorite eyelashes that I've used this month. They are the Lash Bunny Boutique Cruelty Free Lashes in Goddess. Oh, yes, Goddess is right. These are amazing lashes. I gotta take them out so you can see them. Look at how beautiful they are. They're so full and they look so natural and amazing and I've been wearing them all the time. I'm not wearing them today, obviously. I'm wearing a different pair of Lash Bunny lashes. I don't know what the name is because it didn't say it on the thing, but I've been loving these. These are my favorite so far and I will definitely be repurchasing them when they go gross and bad. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video and I'm sorry that I didn't have a lot to talk about, but I did what I could. So bye bye guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video and make sure to check out everything in the description box and everything down below. Um, and comment some Christmas or holiday wintery videos that you guys would like to see me do and I will try my best to post them for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye. Mwah.